I'm Brett Bandesewich. We're at the first stop of the Dew Tour in Ocean City, Maryland. I'm just hanging out at BMX Park. Let's go inside BMX. This course is definitely one of those courses that, you know, it's 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 scary to ride. It's a, uh, you know, every time you have to respect it. Every jump that you make, you know, has to be well thought out, and you know, you can't just be rolling the dice in this course. The biggest challenge on this course is just keeping your speed. There's a lot of big obstacles, but it's hard to get to all of them and keep your speed up because if you tag on one obstacle, then it just kind of kills your whole run. You gotta adapt to whatever you, you have in front of you, and this course is just, you just gotta, you just gotta go with it. The course was quite a bit of a challenge. There was a lot of big ramps out there, which means that if you don't land perfect, it takes that much more speed to get up that next wall. So if you gotta like, you just basically gotta be on it. So if you slip up anywhere, it's just that much more energy and you waste that much more time. And with only 45 seconds out there, you really gotta be on point. A few years back, the only aspect of the course where you could come and you know do all your biggest tricks on was the box jump. But then they introduced the step down and uh, Dude, that's when things got real gnarly. The step down, you know, it's it's a it's a ramp that hasn't been used, you know, a whole lot in, until the last, you know, two years or so. They're not making small step downs, you know. We just we kind of went right into this uh, this party like guns blazing. They just they decided to put you know the biggest step downs that we've ever seen in our lives. It's it's one of those things like you know it gets you nervous. You don't know how fast to go at it. If you go too fast, it's gonna land flat. And if you land flat, there's no way you're gonna get back up the other side. Or if you go too slow, you're going to hang up back wheel, get a flat tire, flip over the bars, you know. It's endless what could happen. Green Monster is not a brand to mess with. Uh, I respect the heck out of it, and I'll take as many sissy run-ups as I need to, to until I feel confident going down there. So little kids, if you got one, or if you need one, start building one, because if you make it to this stage with everyone else, that's where you're gonna be doing your tricks down. Locked and loaded, turn it up to June. What's he got? Oh! It's really good that the course has a lot bigger obstacles because then it really separates some of the guys because like there's a lot of dudes that can ride full pits and resis these days and have every box jump trick and everything but then come to a course like this and then not be able to ride it so I think like a true professional rider will be able to do the big tricks and ride the whole course. The best riders in the world can go out in this course, you know, look over every obstacle, talk about what we're scared of, what we want to do. And it doesn't really matter because every one of these guys have a trick list that could win this contest. Like, and you're not going to go out there and just try, you know, regular tricks just to maybe get top 10. You know, everybody wants to win. So that's what's cool about BMX is that we don't have to hold anything from each other because it's when it comes down to it, we got to beat ourselves before we beat anyone else. Just going out there and having that run planned and then going like, okay, can I make this a reality? You know, and that's, that's honestly, like, I feel like the biggest thing, because you could be in the best shape and you could be riding and doing the gnarliest tricks, but if 
mentally you're not into it and you can't focus and visualize your run and then make it happen, then nothing else matters. It's so much a mental game, like it's you got to be on, on point. Just did it slow, like in my head, I oh, seven, land smooth, oh, I'm going to do this, land smooth and constantly, and then to step it up, I landed everything and I was like, all right, next run, it's trying to get it, start happening again. Watching Brett ride and Scotty and Nyquist and stuff, I was, I wanted to be with those guys up there and uh, blessed that I came second and I can't believe it right now, I'm still sitting here riding after Brett. You know, this comp was, I mean, we said every comp, it was just so crazy and, and this one was no exception. You know, we had the biggest course we've ever had, you know, a lot of the big obstacles out there and they were all thrown into one massive square footage of a park course and, and guys just owned it. You know, they came out here and they dominated it and that, that right there just shows that like if you progress the courses and you raise that level, guys are going to meet that level, you know, and that's fun to see because this is such a good course and, and the guys just dominated it.